Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful uh, pipe fitting, a uh, pipe diversion in Fusion 360. Uh, again, this is going to be our practice exercise number 26, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure though. Uh, basically, all the dimension has been assumed. This exercise is just to show you the tricks uh, which is required to make uh, such assemblies in Fusion 360. So hope you guys will enjoy. Please comment any queries and suggestions. So let's get started switch to new workspace and go to create and we will start by creating a sphere so it will ask you about the planes choose any plane whatever you want and select on the origin and make a uh, go to operation as new component and make a sphere of diameter 500 and press ok now press a for appearance and choose any appearance that you want and if you don't want appearance just press shift and n to enable the colors automatically so i basically prefer uh, appearance but they are more uh, graphics so i am going to use the mirror finish here so we have a sphere beautiful sphere here now again go to create a sketch and on the front plane create a sketch like this and press l for line draw one horizontal line like this now make a rectangle like this press d for dimension and from this point to this point make this as 100 mm now you don't need to uh, make that uh, any other dimension of the rectangle make sure it completes the uh, it covers the bottom part of the sphere and finish the sketch now extrude it or uh, symmetric and extrude cut it like this now we have a, a hemisphere go to shell click on this and make an inside thickness of minus 10 or just make it 10 and press ok now we have a uh, a ball like structure here now go to create a sketch and on the bottom plane here press c for circle and make a circle of dia 520 mm and finish the sketch click on this circle and this one and extrude it up to a distance of 15 mm oh let me just check what was the distance actual okay the distance was actually 10 so make it 10 not 15 let's make it 10 so now create again create the sketch on this plane uh, if you just look at uh, yeah so uh, let's just measure the distance from here to here the distance from here is 30 point uh let me just check the distance from here to here 30.871 so i'm going to construct a center uh, uh, circle on the center so 30.871 divided by 2 so i'm going to offset this up to a distance of 30.871 divided by 2 and press ok it will automatically be uh, make a circle on the center and make it uh, in construction mode now press c for circle and at any point you want uh, make a circle of dia 10 mm and go to create go to ok ok not 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 now go, just finish the sketch uh, what i am going to do is you can you, there are two options you can just mirror it uh, make the circular pattern in the sketch but uh, what I'm going to do is I will going to do the same uh, in the here or, or uh, in the solid workspace so give a chamfer of 5 mm here now again go to circular pattern go to features and select the objects from timeline as the extrude cut and the chamfer and the axis would be this and the quantity is going to be 10 and press ok now we have a 10 circles with the chamfer here now again go to create a sketch and on the front plane and start by making some sketches now for that press p for project and select the selection filter as body and select this body and press ok now we have a projection curve here and here now press l for line and from this point draw a line like this press l again and from this point a line like this press d for dimension and give this angle as 45 degrees now make a line like this here and make a perpendicular 
relation between these two so we have a perpendicular line again go to tangent and select this line and this curve and make it tangent so now the you can make this line movable but we have got the position here now once done go to finish the sketch go to surface go to extrude and select this line and extrude it little bits and press ok now uh, this is going to be our plane this will work as a plane go to create a sketch and click on this one now just hide this body as we don't need it now press p for project and select the specific structure and select this circle as a project or you can select this one also so we you have got the circle here now at this circle make a dia of 100 mm and press ok now finish the sketch now finish the sketch go to solid select the circle that you have created here and the start profile is going to be object so select this one the option would be join and the extent okay 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 the extent is going to be an object select this one and the first direction is going to be the profile plane and select two sided and the second side is going to be minus 10 uh, just make it 10 there so the first i what i have told the fusion 360 that first should be extruded till this one and the second side i have extruded it up to a 10 distance and press ok now again go to create a sketch select on this one press d for dimension and from the center draw a hole of 80 mm diameter and finish the sketch and extrude cut it like this so we have a beautiful hole here now once done again go to create a sketch and on the center make a dia of 150 mm finish the sketch select this one this one and extrude it up to a distance of 10 mm like this create a sketch again like this and draw a circle on top here of dia 10 and from the center give this dimension as 56 mm and go to create go to circular pattern select this object the center point is going to be this the quantity would be 5 and press ok now extrude it and select all these circles up to a distance of minus 11 so that it uh, intersects with the outer one go to modify go to chamfer select these profiles here and give a chamfer of 5 mm yeah now once done go to circular pattern go to go to the pattern as features now select all the features like this the extruded part the the all the part that you have done from this ext the surface extrusion and the axis is going to be this one the quantity is going to be 4 or you can just make it 5 it's up to you uh, let's make it 5 okay uh, okay let's make it 5 and press ok so we have a, a 5 connection here now go to fillet select on this face and give it a fillet of 5 mm like this and go to chamfer select this face select all these faces here select all the five faces and give a chamfer of 2 mm like this now repeat the same step on this face also so make a chamfer of 2 mm like here also and on the bottom click on fillet select all these holes here and make a fillet of 10 mm like this so uh, this completes our exercise on fusion 360 so hope you guys will enjoy there are various ways to make this so this was my way to do this so hope you guys will enjoy the video please 
comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day